What's up, everybody? I wanted to try some legit Japanese seafood. Wanted to try some fresh oysters, to be exact. So I went with my girlfriend to downtown Tokyo, went to an oyster bar, and prepared to get my fix. This place has a wide variety of oysters from all over Japan. For our first plate, we decided to get two oysters from Mie, which is close to Osaka, and we decided to get one more oyster from Hokkaido. So we ordered those bad boys, the waiter brought them out, and I must say, they're looking fresh as fuck. Now I didn't want to be flying blind on this bitch, so I decided to do some research on oysters before I came. Apparently, they're kind of like fine wines. Basically, their flavor can be affected by a shitload of factors, including the oyster's species, local water temperature, salinity, the oyster's food source, fucking seasonality, distance to sea floor, a farmer's growing method, and a whole lot of other factors. Shit's getting crazy around here. Anyway, I got one of these oysters from Mie on deck, getting some lemon action on that bad boy, and what the fuck fucking seed went on that oyster? The chef should have given me a seedless lemon, now I have to pick that seed off with my bare finger, I'm fucking up that oyster already. Now it's time to add a little more zest to this oyster, they've got some sauces on the side here, they've got vinegar, they've got cocktail sauce, whiskey, um, ponzu sauce, and like green tea salt, I don't exactly know what all this shit is. Anyway, my girlfriend told me that most Japanese people use ponzu sauce, so I figure I'll give that a go. And whoa, 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 a shitload of ponzu sauce just went flying all over that oyster. Better tip that shit off. There you go, baby. Problem solved. It's as good as new. Anyway, I needed two hands to work this operation, so my girlfriend is filming me eating this bad boy. There we go, thumbs up, that means I like that oyster a lot, that means I like that oyster a real fucking lot. That oyster tasted super fresh, succulent, slightly salty, and smooth as hell. Now next up, I'm going to try this oyster from Hokkaido. This oyster looks well fed and plump compared to those Mie ones, so I'm getting pretty excited to try out this buck wild oyster. I figure I'll top it off with a few dashes of whiskey. I figure, unlike that ponzu sauce, you can't really add too much whiskey, right? So here I am, trying out the next oyster. Now the first moment I bit into that bad boy, I tasted some whiskey goodness and some fresh oyster action. But toward the end, the taste became pretty strong, tasted pretty robust, and to be honest, it tasted kind of muddy. So yeah, both my girlfriend and I were not really into that one. That one was a no-go. Anyway, next on deck we've got another oyster from Mie, this time from a different location. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon on this bad boy, and surprise, surprise, fucking seed fell on that thing again. Okay, this time I'll try to be more civilized, use a fork, fucking fork doesn't work, so of course I gotta use my fingers again like a damn barbarian. Classic rookie move right there. Anyway, I'm gonna try out a new seasoning, we've got some green tea salt here. I didn't even know what green tea salt was, so I tried some out on my finger first. It pretty much just tasted like green tea powder mixed with salt. It tasted pretty decent, so let's see how it is on this oyster. So here I am chowing down on that third oyster, and damn it tasted good. It tasted pretty similar to that first oyster, pretty smooth and fresh. The additional saltiness from that green tea salt was pretty good, and it had kind of a mineral taste. All in all, I'd say I like it a little bit better than the first oyster. So let's wash this puppy down. It's a pretty buck wild drink right there. It's called an oolong hai. It's basically a mixture of Japanese rice wine and oolong tea. Anyway, we were loving these oysters to bits. We decided to get two more each. One from Kagawa in Shikoku Island and another one from Hokkaido. Different size and different location from last time. So the waiter brought out this new plate of oysters, and I must say, it's looking real fucking nice. So I'm gonna get this Kagawa oyster on deck. I noticed they've got some kind of lemon squeezing device, so I think I'll give that a go this time, try to be civilized. So I'm squeezing that thing hard as fuck, but barely any juice is coming out, so I figure I'm gonna go back to the old-fashioned method. That's right, I'm gonna use my fingers again, hopefully no seeds go flying out. And of course, immediately two seeds just shot out onto that oyster. 
Clearly, I'm not the one with the oyster today. I'm getting all kinds of seed action popping off. All different kinds. I'm thinking these lemons in Japan are just racist. Why the fuck else would they always have seeds shooting out on my oyster alone? Not my girlfriend's. Anyway, I shot off a few bursts of whiskey onto that oyster. Thought better of it. Decided to add a little bit more for good measure. So here I am eating that Kagawa oyster. Took my first few chomps and wow, just wow. Nice fucking oyster right there. The thing definitely deserves two thumbs up. The taste was kind of like the Mie oysters, but just more clean, more crisp, and more meaty tasting. It's kind of hard to explain why that oyster was so good, but me and my girlfriend both agreed that was the best oyster we had so far. Anyway, here we got the last oyster on deck, the Hokkaido oyster. I squeezed that lemon out and surprisingly there was no seed on that bad boy. Just gonna add a few dashes of whiskey. It's definitely proven to be my favorite seasoning for oysters, so let me add a few more dashes. Gonna slam back some of this oolong high. Got my palate cleansed and now it's time to taste the last oyster. So here I am, there's some kind of weird ass seaweed hanging off the shell there, just get that shit out of the way, and here we go. So at first I'm tasting some nice whiskey action here, some nice succulents, and ah, uh, no, 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 no. That's a no-go right there. Same as the first oyster from Hokkaido, just has a weird, strong, muddy taste. Anyway, showed those oysters who's boss. Overall, it was a pretty buck-wild, motherfucking sick-ass meal. So thanks for watching. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.